Stephanie and I am here with another video like aren't we excited about that I know we are we have a lot going on today or a lot trying to get going on today I woke up super early on this Saturday morning like around 7 yeah I was up by 7 I like to just like you know like deframe my mind because I can be like an overthinker so what I did this morning, I got up, took a shower, washed my hair. As y'all can see, the braids are gone. They weren't in there that long. And now we're doing like, oh no, I'm not ready for this. We're doing like a little bit of skincare. And I'm just like, you know what? Besides grocery shopping, I need to get some skincare shopping in this week. Because your girl is running out of products. Um, I had, If you haven't seen like what I got for my birthday... In one of my vlogs my friend had got me this herb herbivore cloud jelly and it has vegan collagen inside and like a pump and it's like a pump and hydration and it changed your girl face okay I know we getting right into skin stuff but I just like how my face look and then summertime is coming I'm gonna just figure out where I can go to kind of like do little shots to remove my um fat under here and start giving my face more of a contour look and losing weight as well you know we don't always want to make cosmetics do everything for us <laughs> so i'm going outside later so i did want to get my skincare routine in before i forget because i'm forgetting um i'm lazy skincare like i do it and then there's days like when I take a little bit more time in it because it's like a self-care for me. But like there's people that faithfully sit here every day and like do this to their face. Like they really take care. And I'm going to put some serum on. I'm going to put, I'm I'm put some stuff on to make my skin thing. But because my skin is not bad and it could be better. Like I don't face breakouts. So anytime I break out... It's like around my period and it'd be like little, little fine pimples. But I do, I'm like a lazy girl skincare. So if you're a lazy girl skincare like me, mix your serums. <laughs> we don't got all day to be putting serums. Ah! Um, ah! Ah! E. Rude. Poppin'. Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that bike stocking. Just joshing. I'ma spend this holiday logging. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top ten. I can put a ball in the end zone. Put a bad bitch in the friend zone. This shit sound like an intro jet song. Give me that tempo. Ooh. So cool, he a fool with the shit. Told her don't let her friends know. In the building, I move like a dime. You can better cheat me a Vincenzo. I like to call it a pass. That's my type of distraction. That's my type of she laughs. Got my own flow and I'm about to get a patent. Brand new sheets for the bed they set. Y'all wasn't tuned in back then. I swear they keep jacking. I 
ain't doing no verse, quit asking. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options, I can pass it like stocking. Just joshing, let me spend this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top ten. I can put the ball in the end zone, put a bad to the friend zone. This shit sound like an intro, just on, give me that tempo. So cool, he'll fool with this shit. Told her, don't let her friends know. In the building, I move like a dime. Even for the Chimi or Vincenzo's. is done I'm still trying to figure out how I could just mimic a bob and it looks like I really cannot because of how my hair is growing it's giving me annoyed um, I do have a lot of <clears throat> like short pieces and I know why because every time I, we're gonna call it breakage though because every time I take out my weave I end up cutting my hair like chunks of it so like there's a lot of uneven pieces which I'm going to let grow out because it's cut. It's like blunt straight. So we're going to leave it how it is. But I did shorten my part because this is the part where the short pieces are. For me cutting my hair when I'm taking out my weave. So don't try this because nobody's not going to be blaming me. Nobody's not going to be blaming me for their hair. So I'll try this, but what I'm going to do to make it more like, you know, giving it that more of a blunt look, I take my hair and try to brush it like this to kind of like match the length of the back. So I t not brush, comb, take a comb, put it like this, like literally like this to where it's like touching the ear and then we're going to cut. So we kind of like even it out a little bit. I just need to definitely put on more closures and wigs so the front of my hair could catch up a little bit with the back, if that makes sense. So I got my shears and we're going to cut. Boom, see that? Made so much of a difference. Y'all see when it's fully, fully done. So let me just do this real quick. All right, y'all. So this is the final look. <laughs> let me tell you something. We definitely have a chokehold on us because I'm just like, I look 12. And I just feel like my hair would be so much elevated if I was to put it on the side. But I be feeling like I still look 12 when I put it on the side because like, like right now, like what I had to do to just give it like this umph, I had to, I, I wish my damn camera didn't die, but I had to like part it in a diagonal way. Cause trust me, your parting matters when you're pressing your hair and then bump it from underneath and then go straight and then curve a little bit. But this is the silk press y'all. You know, we're not going to dwell on it too much. It's giving 12-year-old vibes. But we're just going to have to make it work until I figure out what I want to do to my hair. Like, I'm, I want to put a closure sewing in, but I don't. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do. So, yeah, I'm going to wrap it because I have some cleaning to do around the house. And I'm going to do my son's hair. I'm going to do his hair. Um, I'm going to clean downstairs bathroom because I cleaned upstairs bathroom during the week. Wash my sheets and then I'm going to check in with you guys later when I head outside. Okay. Because how do you see the numbers in this stuff? It's 
trying to see, but I could barely see the numbers. It's like fading away. Mm hmm. I'm at BJ's, y'all. I'm about to do my grocery shopping. I'm like a little bit disappointed about this meal I'm eating. The only thing was good was the macaroni. So I ordered some like chicken buffalo toast. And it don't look like the picture. I'm upset. It don't even taste like the picture. Now I don't even know how the picture tastes. I just figured like I got to start shopping smart. Because I was looking through my bank transactions and I'm like, yo, I've been to the grocery store so much within this month and the month is not even done. We got to make more money for 2023, not spend more. We got to make more. Yo, people in my business. This is why I like bring my camera. In my business, in my business, in my business. I'm gonna have to put tinsel in this car. Alright, y'all, I'm back home. And. I bought one of these. I seen uh, Mason down here too, and he think he about to eat my other one. I seen um, Brettman Rock eat this. It's um, I think it's either like a either a Korean or a Philippinean fruit. I can't remember the name. I'm about to Google it right now. But Mark said he used to eat this when he was younger, so I'm guessing it grows in like warm climates. Besides the Filipino area. These are from Florida. I don't know if they're going to taste the same. I don't even know what they taste like. But people always say it tastes like grapefruit but sweeter. So let's open it up. Basically, so y'all can see the fruit. Y'all don't need to see me. So basically, like, they say you... I don't think I need to do it for this fruit. But we're going to still figure it out. You do it like this. Like, you do, like, a circle on the top. And then, like, you... Or like that. Mm, yeah, I did it right. Oh my god. Ooh, it is not showing like the goddamn picture, but it's like a big orange or tangerine. I want all the little white skin off of there. In the picture, when I bought it in the bag, it was pink. <gasps> oh my. Look. Mmm. It's really good. Wow. I like this. Let me just get like a really cute piece. Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> Good morning, lovely people. It is the next day and it is Sunday. I'm trying to figure out like where I need to go and what I need to do and buy. I know for a fact I wanted to do the Target with the Ulta so I don't have to go to Target then Ulta. But I have to go to the, I know, I, I believe I have to go to the farmer's market. Like that's what I believe, I don't know. But all I know is I wanted to come outside before the church folks got out of church and they start smothering these stores. Let me check my mailbox. And then I want to get my nails and my toes done. So it's just like, could we get the nails and the toes done or do we have to save that for Tuesday on my day off? Tell me what you see in me. Gotta be something different. You must be made for me. Patience is nothing. In and out, in and out, in and out. Arguing, traveling, 
difficult But yeah, that outfit, the um silk pants, I like that. It's cute. All right, child, admission break. I'm hungry. So I stopped at Golden Crust because that's the most curving we're going to get out here in the South. Bought me um a spicy beef and a cheesy beef. Let me see. This is, this is cheesy beef. I'm going to eat that. And then later on when I get hungry again while I'm cooking, I'm going to... Why does Matt in my mouth like I won't punch him? You can get the biggest Chanel back in the store if you want it. I gave him the drill, they set it up, I got him on it. I bought a new bed, I got had the white, so I two tones them. Taking the drills, I'm gonna be up until the morning. It ain't your car, you just release so you don't own it. If I'm in the club, I got that five when I'm performing. The back end just came in and out for hundreds. Five's the little cute shit, they all on us. I'm from Atlanta with young niggas run shit. I know they hating on me, but I don't need comments. Whenever I tell her to come, she coming. Whenever it's smoke, we ain't running. So in this time, because we have like a 15 minute where we have to like set up our programs, which I did already, and we have to check our email and just wait. So basically, the sign-in time is 10.45 for me today. And the start time to start taking calls to help people with the process of their application or whatever is at 11. So it's 10.48, I have like 15 minutes, or well less. So what I do is I try to get Mason together, like give him his snacks, make him some milk, because he still drinks milk, and then make me some tea. And then now added to my tea making, um, I drink the greens. So I'm gonna just make that. And I, I thought I had my frother and I can't find it nowhere. I believe I lost it in the process of this move. All right, y'all, so I'm ready to the call. Just wanna show you guys how it works um, without showing people details, cause this is a bank. So let me just pull this up here. So this thing here, let me turn around. So this little thing here tells me, where is it, where is it? Right here, tells me how many calls are waiting. Um, basically, it's not, basically it's not like they're on the phone like waiting. It, when I get off the call, it's gonna call them back. They're gonna answer and say, okay, you know, our agent is ready to speak to you. Our loan officer is ready to speak to you because that's what I am. I don't know what it says, but that's basically what happens. They did the callback feature. So it's just like, hey. So basically they call over to like the regular banking things, like people that just deal with accounts and stuff and say, hey, I have a loan in process. Um, I would like to see where I'm at with my loan application. And they'll say, okay, I'll send you right over there. So 
once they send you over there, they'd be like, okay, we're sorry for the long wait, but our um, loan officers, our agents, whatever the hell they think they're working, whatever, they um, put your number, they'll give you a call back as soon as they're done. This person that I'm speaking to is giving me a little bit of sus. That's just my job. Like if something seems a little bit off, um, I'm supposed to look into it. The person claims they're 67. They sound very young. They sound super young. Not saying like you're supposed to sound like some old person, but you 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 know the difference. Because my voice has it it I sound the same, but it has gotten deeper and it changed over time. Like I don't sound like I'm 18 anymore, you know? Let me just take a look at it and then I'll be back. Probably later when we go <laughs> and cook. But this is just how my setup is. I got the two screens. Over here, I have my Google Assist. Basically, um, this used to be in the kitchen because like, if I go on my lunch break, I like to watch like um, YouTube or Netflix on here. And then, um, you know, my keyboard, my mouse. I bought this, these are mine. And then my, my computer over here, and then my little speaker when I be listening to like my podcast while I work. See that? Uh, my best friend bought me that. Tamara. Thank you, Tamara. Thank you, girl. And that's pretty much it. It's not <coughs> nothing crazy. It's just that I work in a call center environment because I take calls. Um, basically, you know, that's just how it goes. Stop. Stop. all right you guys so the day is done it's 8 30 i've been signed out of work because i had like a really rough day today i don't like ab abusive interactions this is why i need to get it together and get another job but it is now 8 30 and i have to wake up extremely early tomorrow but i'm going to bring this vlog to an end and don't forget to like comment and subscribe on the phone with my best friend and she just keep trying and I'm going to see you guys in another one. Good night.